What's going on, everyone? This is your Yankee Messiah here with you, of course, your personifications to the IWC and YWC here on YouTube.com. So, I just watched uh, Friday Night Smackdown, and yes, what else is new? The show was garbage. The show was fucking trash, as always, and um, I'll tell you all this right now. I wasn't feeling this show because... I really feel that WWE Creative just ran out of ideas before Money in the Bank and decided, you know what, let's just scrap the fucking booking of that show and move on to the biggest party of the summer in SummerSlam, or as I like to call it, Summer Scam. So, what did they do last week? Last week, they announced the main event. For SummerSlam, right? And apparently, now you have another match that's going to happen at SummerSlam with Pat McAfee going up against Happy Corbin. But Money in the Bank is eight days away. And if you look at WWE's history, WWE's history of doing this it's happened before. And it's rarely been successful. Though, it isn't like, you know, there is much that can be set up for Money in the Bank anyways. Because I'll, I'll talk about all of the negatives on this show tonight. I mean, sure, there were some fucking positives. But, you know, just get to it already before... They run even further out of ideas. And that was pretty obvious with this edition of Friday Night Smackdown. And there are things that I want to talk about here. Because the way that the WWE ushers out the Usos as this unstoppable tag team of all time. It's, it's ludicrous. That's what it is. Because didn't one of the Uso brothers lose to Angelo Dawkins this past Monday on Monday Night Raw? I mean, it's not a big deal when they lose more than they win. Even if they're the undisputed tag team champions in the WWE. Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, man. Uh, Sami Zayn wins the match. So he advances to the Money in the Bank ladder match. I really thought that was a very good TV match. I mean, sure, it was a rematch. But, damn. I was impressed with that match. Way to go, Sami Zayn. And then you had Xavier Woods. So... You had Xavier Woods go out there and say that the New Day do not engage in rematches after rematches after rematches. <laughs> really. Really. When I was watching that segment, I was like, holy shit. That is the funniest shit that I have ever heard in my entire life. Maybe on this fucking show. Really. And then the segment with Natalia and Ronda Rousey. I'll be honest with you. Natalia actually looks better than Ronda Rousey or Ronda Drowsy. And then you had fucking um, Guther against Ricochet. I'm saying this to myself. Why did they book this match again? This was completely fucking Guther squashing Ricochet. But I'm like, holy fuck. 
I haven't seen a squash match like that in a very long time. Maybe since the fucking days when I'm watching fucking superstars or wrestling challenge. I haven't fucking seen squashes like that. This to me felt like a Yokozuna squash. And let me get back to um, the Money in the Bank qualifying matches. This is on the women's side. Because these Money in the Bank qualifying matches on the women's side, they have been so fucking terrible. You're giving women two minutes to be in the fucking ring to qualify. What's the fucking point of the match? Seriously. What's the fucking point of this match? Mind you, the point of the fucking women's money in the bank ladder match. WWE. Do me a fucking favor. When you're fucking booking this shit for next year. Just choose six or seven women. And put them in the match. Because you're simply wasting your fucking time. With these fucking women's money in the bank ladder matches. Okay. The maximum male models. Alright. So once again. We have the maximum male models. No maximum male models. And no debut. I'll tell you this right now. WWE booking. They got no idea who's going to be in the fucking maximum male models. And I feel at this point, it's going to be a fucking disappointment. I can already fucking predict the future. That this shit's going to be a fucking disappointment. It really is. And then the Usos. Um, let me check the main event out once again. Um, the Usos were in a main event. So you had Sheamus and Drew McIntyre beat the Usos. Okay? So... Instead of keeping them in the Money in the Bank ladder match, WWE opted to take them out and then have them beat the Usos clean and then get into the match again. The Usos, I'm saying this right now, you are treating the Usos as fucking jobbers when they're not with Roman Reigns. But when they're with Roman Reigns, you're treating them as a fucking big time deal. I don't get this fucking company. I, I really don't, man. Five and a half out of ten, that's my fucking score for this fucking SmackDown. Uh, this SmackDown show is fucking garbage as shit. I, I don't want to hear any fucking dick riders, e-drones, fucking all you fucking... Smocks, mocks out there saying, oh, all you fucking do is, is talk about fucking WWE. You fucking talk shit about the WWE. Don't watch the WWE if you don't like it. You know what? Fuck off. That's what I'm going to say. Fuck off. Fucking you stupid ass fucking bitches. But anyways, I'm going to head out, guys. Remember... Live stream tomorrow. I'm probably going to do it in the morning. Uh, talking about the uh, Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Uh, that's going to happen on Sunday. I'm going to do my predictions for that. So until then, this is your Yankee Messiah. I'm out. Peace.